Guys, I'm going to do a cold start on this 1979 Chevy truck, Silverado C10 truck that we have named Ruby. It's been a while since I've started it. Several weeks. This is probably one of the last decent days we're going to have for a while. There's a storm front coming through. And we're supposed to get down to around between 10 and 20 degrees. So I'm going to scoot over here. Hopefully it won't take too much battery to start. Hold on. Kind of embarrassing, but I stuck my shoe right in one of those glue traps. I always keep a couple in my vehicles just in case there's mice gets in them. Okay. Okay, I was making sure the battery had a good connection because I always disconnect them. Got to get fuel up here. It'll start here in a minute, I hope. Thank God that buzzer quit. Well, guys, I just now got this truck started. Had a loose battery connection, and I wound up having to go in the house and get a uh, one of them little wire brush things to clean the top post batteries, terminals, and the cables. But I'm sorry I didn't film it starting right up. It took a few pumps and a few turns, but it finally started. I'm glad of it. It's been a while since it has run, so I'm gonna let it sit here for just a minute. That's my 75 C10 uh, Sky. I know y'all seen that a lot. If you're a new person to my channel, uh, this is for the new people just stumbled across my channel. I traded a 57 Chevy truck for this truck. It's a 79 C10. I traded with a GM Tim 38. That's my buddy Brian. Both of us do a lot of trading between ourselves brian's a good mechanic so if he says something's good it's good so anyway i've traded for this truck and i i don't know how long i've had it i guess year and a half maybe two years something i, I don't know time just seems to fly when you're having fun I'm, maybe just a year i don't know anyway since we got it, my wife and I has put this cover lay dash cover on and the door panels. I've got videos of us putting it on. I really do like it. It made a big difference in the inside of this truck. Kind of recommend cover lay products pretty good. I don't have any problems out of them. Out of their products, I mean. This truck has a built 350 with a stall in it. I don't know what size cam is in it. It was in the truck when I got it. And I don't know what size stall it is. So, can't tell you that. Brian probably can. Oh, look up Brian. His name is GM space Tim 38. GM Tim 38. Proud to have him for a friend. And proud to have Tim Dixon for a friend at Gas X Drop Shop. I'm going to set here for just a minute. Okay, I'm going to let it back it up here just a minute. I don't have the hood shut good because I was working on the battery connections. got my carpet dirty but this is new carpet just getting in and out of this garage I get dirty oh 
this is it for the first first time viewers that's never uh, seen any of my trucks it's a 79 c10 it's like this when i got it with the wheels and stuff it's got new exhaust on it uh, if you'll remember we changed the grill in it painted the grill and put it in it had a black one i've since come up with a better black one that's got the chrome pieces on it and uh I might wind up putting it back on. I don't know, but I'll do that in the spring or summer. I just like playing around. I'll show you the motor real quick. Hang on. Okay, it takes two hands. I done latch it, but got a built 350 center bolt. About all I can tell you. I'm going to get Corey at Gas X Chop Shop to gas up the AC on it. And this truck uh, came with Cruise. But as you can see, it's missing some parts. But I'm, I think I got a few parts. I, I, I'll never, I'm never going to hook the crews up to it. But I just like gathering up parts to, just in case you change your mind or whatever. But it's pretty clean. I had my friends at uh, downtown to uh, detail the engine for me. We bought these. Uh, seen these on marketplace here i guess last year i guess uh these are plastic uh, headlight bezels the ones that was on it was pretty pretty crapped out but it is what it is but got these plastic ones on there and they look good to me better than what was on it i'm also going to put some bumper guards on it i know i keep saying the same thing over and over but Right now, Tim is working, Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop, Chop Shop is working on Billy James, my 78 C10 truck. So he's doing that, working on that, and I don't want to overwhelm him. So, but a uh, old truck runs good. I like it. We put Penetrol on this truck and see how shiny it is. I've got videos on that as well. My wife has painted the emblems for me. I think they turned out really well. Or as they say in England, just smashing, just smashing. I think that's what they say. Smashing, meaning good. Uh, I was trying to think of some more things we've done to this truck. Well, Here's some wheels and tires I got. I'm not sure. I might put these on Wilma. Uh, I've been kind of thinking about Billy James putting these on Billy James. I'm not really sure just yet, but I got plenty of time. I apologize for the wind. We got a storm coming up. So I thought if I'm ever going to start this truck, I better do it now because it's supposed to turn very cold. But I really do like this truck good running old truck it, it'll get up and go with you if I get the AC fixed and the bumper guards if Billy James if Billy James was lowered about like this on the chief like maybe cutting a coil or two out of the springs it might look a little bit better I don't know I can't really afford a lowering kit at this moment. My wife and I was thinking about taking the the truck I just bought recently, the wrecked C10, the white one. I've got several videos of it. If that truck has a decent seat, I'm going to take this seat out and put a better seat in this truck and uh, put this one in Billy James, I guess. Cause it is just Billy James is a truck I'm trying to do on I'm telling you the cheap that the cheap 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 as I can so I'm hoping that I'm hoping that seat on the wrecked one is good if you're not familiar with it just go back through my video history about a month or so ago I guess give or take and uh maybe a little longer but you'll see a white wrecked truck that I was looking at for the longest and trying to get a hold of the owner and I wound up buying it. So 
But don't these door panels look good from cover leg? I'm real proud of that. It turned out good. I just thought I'd let it warm up here for just a minute. Run. But I sure do like this old truck. I've cranked on the battery a little, so I'm gonna rev it up just a little bit. Try to, gotta get a vacuum cleaner and vacuum all this out again. About the first time my yard has been dry enough to even pull something out, but we're fixing to get a whole bunch of rain coming in now, so eh, got a lot to do as well. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. I didn't mean to make it so long, but I talk a lot. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I sure would be grateful. I have a second YouTube channel as well called Chevy Trucks. I just put GMCs and Chevy trucks exclusively on that channel. If you're into Chevy trucks and GMCs, please subscribe to that channel. You'll see a little icon and you'll know it's me with this truck on it. 75 C10 that we, well, y'all named Sky. Hey, my wife does done the letters on these too. She does a good job. I think I, d I just don't have the I just don't have the patience for stuff like that or I might put these wheels on Billy James I haven't made up my mind these are 15 by 10 Corvette rallies so this is PIV anyway uh, once again thanks for watching the video I'm on Instagram primer is best all one word and I'm on Facebook primer is best and let me tell you real quick for in this video sometimes i know i've said this before sometimes people leave comments on my youtube channel and i answer every one of, if you took the time to comment i'll take the time to to answer you back just as quick as i can but there are some of the comments i can't answer because you youtube won't let me go into it to the comment and i you know i go through my uh, spam and all this other stuff and health in review. I go through all those categories trying to be able to answer your question or comment, but sometimes it just won't let me. So if you're one of those people that have made a comment or asked a question or whatever, uh, criticize whatever you're doing on my channel, why uh, I apologize. I've always answer every one, but Sometimes YouTube just won't let me, so I, I don't know what's up with that. It's, it comes up periodically. I've got one today that I've been trying to answer this man, or I'm, I'm assuming it's a man, this person, and uh, I just, I can't respond. So I've clicked on their icon and I, I can't, I just can't. So if I didn't answer, my point is try again, leave me another comment. You know, you can ask the same thing or whatever and I'll get back with you just as soon as I can if YouTube will let me. But as I said, if you leave a comment or a question, whatever, I, I try to answer each and every one. It takes a while to answer all of them, but I do my very best between YouTube and Instagram and some of the others, I stay pretty busy. So anyway, enough of that. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe. God bless each and every one of y'all. Thanks for watching this video. I sure am grateful to you. Each and every one of y'all, share my videos if you would. Tell your friends you found a channel that you might think is interesting to them. So, hopefully. Anyway, y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all later.